welcome to this new special episode of Continuum Gaming and it's accompanying the uh, episode 90 in this case. And today I want to try something, yeah, more or less fun. So uh, don't take it too serious what I'm doing here. It's not going to be the, the one and only wonder we are, we are all expecting or something like that. It's just a little bit of fun I'm having with my Lumia 950 XL, which is this smartphone, Continuum based of course. And I will uh, use this in combination with another very cool device, which is this Cintiq Wacom tablet, or better to say it's not a tablet or at all, it's just a display with a touch display on it. And it's going to use, for example, a Panon. And um, it's a Wacom device, so it's quite expensive more or less, so nobody will try this at home more or less. And uh, because of that, I think I might be the first person who is trying this on the whole world, but we will see what is that and we'll see what's happening there. So this is my, uh, just to show you what we are going to use here, this is my Wacom, uh, Wacom, let's see what the real, real uh, name of it is. It's a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD Creative Pen and Touch Display. That's all that is. And uh, it has this kind of cable uh, there, and um, it's more or less quite a complicated setup. I will not show you that in this kind of way we are doing it at the moment, but I will uh, just show you in a different angle and stuff like that what I'm going to do there and how this is working. And for that, of course, we are going to use the display dock, this one, um, which will be used to connect all these things together. And of course, we will use yeah, several, several diff different cables and stuff like that to power those devices. So I would say, enough talk, let's have a look at that. So, hi everybody. What I want to test today is a little bit of a strange setup here. Because of that, I'm not sure how this will function and uh, if it's working at all. But I just wanted to test something like that for a whole lot of time now. And today we will have a look at that. This probably is the first time that anybody is testing this, uh, a special test scenario. So keep in mind, this is just a test. I'm not sure how well that, uh, this will work. So uh, what I want to test here is I will just test to connect my Numia 950 XL, which is a continuum device um, with a Motsu cover on the back, uh, with my Wacom Cintiq. The Wacom Cintiq is more or less a, a graphic tablet, but built into a, a display. And um, at first I just wanted to test how well, it, for example, a touch display would work with uh, the Lumia 950 XL and the, the Windows 10 Mobile of operation system on there. But uh, I figured for the first time, or at first I figured that, uh, yeah, I don't have any kind of, of other touch display because I'm not a really big fan of touch displays uh, concerning desktop work. And um, this is the only one I, I own. And the second one, I wanted to test just how well the, uh, the pen, in this case the Wacom pen, will work with that. So let's have a look at that. And um, what you can see here is everything we need to do there. And uh, all I have to do is now I will just fix it up, um, build it together and see what is going on here, if something is working or what is happening here. So first off, uh, I have of course this, uh, this display port a display dock from Microsoft here, which will be our our uh, connecting device because this is more or less a switch or a hub for different things here. For example, you can see we have a display port, a HDMI adapter or port. Um, we have several USB-A ports and we will just use that to connect the smartphone with all the other devices we're seeing here. So first off, I will just power on the, the display dock here. So I just need to put this into a, a plug, of course. Let's see. So this should be that. You can see that it's on because there's this little light now uh, showing through. And uh, the second one is, I of course, need to power up my Cintiq. And this is a more complex process because um, the Cintiq has a proprietary uh, 
connection method. This is uh, the plug for that. Um, not sure why this is happening like that. For example, the newer models I think will use USB-C or something, but at, at this point there's only this kind of, of uh, thing we can use there. No special thing attached there. And of course we need to power that up too. So I will just put that in too. Give me a second. So, and now we can just use this kind of cable which is, uh, which is delivered with the um, with the uh, Cintiq, of course. There is first off this uh, power adapter. I have to connect to this. Let's put it in. And then we have an HDMI cable or HDMI uh, plug there and an USB A port plug. And a wonder, there is, of course, something we can use with that because we have exactly the right combination of stuff here. To put it in. So I will do that. Okay. So this is connected now and I will just try to power up my Cintiq now. Of course there is no signal at the moment for that. I just want to check if the Cintiq... yeah, it's on. Okay. So and now we will just plug in, in the USB A uh, C port I have here with my smartphone, of course. So, first off, I will power that on. Okay, let's get in. And now I will just connect these and let's see what's happening here. Okay, so first off, it seems to work fine with, with the display itself. That's not the biggest uh, surprise for me because that's of course something that should have work here because it's just an HDMI uh, cable I'm plugging in here and of course I can for example use my smartphone now to, to use it as a touchpad but the more interesting thing is can I use for example the, the touch technology in this uh, tablet or in this better to say in this display here to, uh, to do stuff with it and for that I think I will just uh, try to uh, set up the camera in a different ang angle because you, I think you don't see much of the display there on this part. So I will just cut here and we will see in a couple of minutes probably uh, the next step of this process. So and there we are again. And now we'll just have a look at what's happening here. So of course we can just uh, move our mouse around by using the touchpad on our uh, Lumia 950 XL now. But now let's see if, uh, if my finger can be used too on the display itself. So, and as you can see, it seems to be working. That's quite cool. Because now I have more or less uh, extension of this little screen to this screen and I still can use my touch device uh, stuff, um, scroll through everything here and it really is looking like it's working pretty well. Um, there's one thing I, I noticed now is that, for example, if I for, uh, try to type something in, I don't get a big screen uh, keyboard or something like that, but I'm still on this. As you can see, um, that's fine. I guess would be a little bit cooler if it would be able to to show it here too. But whatever, does work in any kind of way. And what I now want to test is I have installed Malen and Bleistift, which is more or less painting and, and pen or something like that. And um, because of that, I want to have a look at if this is working too. So. Let's have a look at that. Go to Malen and Bleistift now. And yeah, there we are. This is just uh, some kind of a painting app I'm using here. And now I will just uh, try to use this pen with it. I Just to let you know, I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I already see that it's not really what I'm looking for here. As you can see, uh, the, the mouse pointer is not where my my um, pen is and this is more or less a driver issue so um, because 
in general if you are using a uh, for example a twin uh, display system like this is more or less because the smartphone is one system, uh, one display there and the other one is the desktop there um, or the display there. Um, this is just common that it will not work like that because uh, there is a driver missing from Wacom to handle that kind of stuff. Um, I already know that from my PC for example and uh, my PC has the same problem if I'm not installing the proprietary drivers from Wacom. Um, because of that, I'm not able to use this especially exactly la like I wanted. As you can see, it's really working to move the mouse. That's not a problem. But what it can't do is, for example, uh, put it somewhere very precisely or something like that. So this is a little bit of a letdown here. As you can see, I can paint with it. And what I can see is that it's not using yeah, it's not using uh, pressure intensity or something like that uh, neither. So this is just a driver thing and uh, the interesting part is that this has more or less the same drivers as uh, my Windows desktop PC because everything I'm, I'm limited with here is exactly the same uh, that I would be limited with uh, without the software from Wacom. So if Wacom would have software for Windows 10 Mobile to install there, everything would work here. But since that is not the case here, I'm probably not going to use that um, for that kind of part. Of course, I can just use my finger and paint with that on a bigger screen now, which is a nice thing to have. And of course, I can use other colors here to paint with that stuff with my finger then, of course. So now it's more or less like a big tablet or something just with my smartphone and the Cintiq device and uh, this is quite a fun little thing to do but it's really not what I was looking for here so that's a little bit uh, disappointing but still a cool thing that this is working as well as it does because uh, in the end I was not convinced that it would work at all with uh, having the drivers here and all the input devices in this device and going uh, through my the whole cable setup I'm having here to my smartphone and back. But this is very lag free. I can uh, tell that. Yeah, it's really lag free and it's really working very, very nicely. And of course, I can, for example, uh, use my, my whole screen here as I want to. Uh, what I see here is that, uh, that it's already telling me that there might be something going on and something is wrong with this uh, USB device So because there is no driver available. But as you can see, in the end I'm able to use this. And this, since this is uh, Continuum Gaming, what I want to, uh, to do here is I will try to play some games with that. Don't know what should we try. Why not? Let's try Street Storm. Yeah, can do that too. And just to let you know, this doesn't have any kind of of um, of audio output or something. So everything will be outputted uh, through my Microsoft Lumia. If there's something output uh, put it then might need a little bit to work, of course. And there we are. It seems to be working. It's looking quite nicely on the screen, I think. Yeah, really cool stuff there. repeat asphalt street store so and then uh, let's see what's happening here okay I have to input my my 
H here. I will not use my real H, but something doesn't matter. Okay. And as it uh, seems, I'm able to play this very, very nicely. Finger input and stuff like that is, is working as it should. And the good thing about it is that if this is working, it's very, very likely that any other kind of touch display or something like that will work too. Because this is no uh, kind of, of special technology and the drivers are all this, uh, the default ones of Windows here. So it looks like it's going to work very, very nicely. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really working cool. And exactly as it should. Cool stuff. I really like that. So in the end you can use, for example, this kind of device with your smartphone just to make a bigger kind of smartphone more or less, or a tablet out of it. Very, very nice. Okay, I have to buy that one. Yeah, but I think I don't have to show you everything here now. Um, as you can see, we can paint, we can use the system itself, we can, for example, use a game with it. So everything is working fine and that's more or less more than I expected it to be. Yeah, and there you have it. This was a special episode 90 with a couple of yeah, fun little things to test out. Uh, for example, uh, we tested out with a pen, we tested it with uh, the touch controls and stuff like that and as you can see more or less everything is working there needs to be a little bit of driver uh, issues uh, that would be, uh, need to be fixed uh, i just can't tell you that, that that will happen i'm quite sure that it will not happen from the wacom side of things here but in the end it's really a cool little uh, fun uh, test i had much fun doing it and i hope you had much fun watching it and uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumb up at, at uh, below. And of course, if you have any kind of questions there uh, concerning this video or any, uh, anything concerning Continuum and of course Numian and 50XL or something like that, just let me know. I try to answer you in the, uh, in the questions uh, in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you had fun. Have a nice day. See you soon. As I said, give a thumbs up if you liked it and of course subscribe if you want to have a look at other videos I'm producing here. And so have a nice day, thanks for watching and see you soon.